Hi everyone, in this video I want to cover the use and scheduling for the RTH 7600D thermostat. To change the thermostat mode or to change the fan settings, press the system and fan button in the lower left of the screen. Use the up and down arrows to change the system mode or press the fan button to change the fan mode. Press done when finished. To set or adjust the schedule, press the schedule button. Use the up and down arrows to select the day of the week or edit your selection to create a schedule by selecting the day of the week and pressing edit. You can select multiple days by pressing the up and down arrows and pressing select on each day. Press next step to select the period of the day that you wish to edit, then press the Next Step button again. Select the time that you wish the period to begin by adjusting it with the up and down arrows. Press Next Step when done. Select the heating temperature for that period. Press Next Step when done. Select the cooling temperature for that period and press next step once done. Continue this process through each of the periods for the selected days. Once finished, press done. To edit the time, press the clock and more button. Use the arrows to change the time and press done when complete. To adjust the set to temperature, use the up and down arrows on the side of the screen. If you cannot adjust the set to temperature, Make sure the system is set to heat, cool, or auto. You will not be able to adjust the set point when the system is set to off. When adjusting the temperature, the thermostat will be set to a temporary hold where it will keep the new temperature until the next scheduling change. To use this new temperature permanently, press the hold button while the set to temperature is blinking. The words permanent hold will appear in the bottom right hand corner. The thermostat will now hold this temperature indefinitely until another set temperature is selected or the U schedule button is pressed. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. For more support and documentation, please visit honeywellhome.com.